the cost of the kingdom. The Bible surely tells us that the way to the kingdom is difficult and narrow, that the cost of being disciples of Jesus is self-denial and cross-bearing. Many wonder that the promises are thus restricted and not to all who strive to do right without faith or self-sacrifice. The parable of a camel creeping through the needle's eye illustrated how the rich must unload their wealth if they would prepare to share the kingdom. The little gate in the larger one was called a needle's eye. Bible students now explain that difficulties are attached to the gaining of the kingdom because God desires a very choice little company for that glorious position. He has made the trial so severe that only the saintly will avail themselves of the opportunity to gain the kingdom. The young ruler asked Jesus, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus referred him to the law, which promised eternal life to any Jew who would keep it. The young man replied that he had done his best, but still was dying. Jesus loved him for his good endeavors and pointed him to a new way to life everlasting by self-sacrifice as his disciples. Additionally, he might become a joint heir with Jesus in glory, honor, and immortality. Two dear disciples asked to sit next Jesus on the throne of his kingdom. The master replied, Are you able, willing, to drink of my cup of self-denial, self-sacrifice, ignominy, and shame? Are you able to be baptized into my death, to self-will, to cutting off from every earthly privilege, if such be God's providence for you? Those loving disciples answered that they were ready for anything with the Master's help. He assured them and us that he will furnish trials and assistances, and that if faithful to the end, we shall have a crown of life. But the honors and glories of the kingdom will not be determined by grace, but by justice.